I'm Dr. Vinita Arora. I'm the director and head of cardiac electrophysiology department in Max Healthcare. Do you know what is the ejection fraction of your heart? The heart function is determined from the simple investigation to the echo and 60% is the normal functioning of the heart. If the heart function drops below 35%, it can compromise the quality as well as quantity of your life. So it is very important for you to know what is the ejection fraction of your heart. How does it hamper into your uh, living, day to day living? Well, you can have breathlessness, sans lene mein dikkat, you can get fatigued very soon, the energy levels may fall and you may feel weak and out of, drained out of energy totally. And you may have generalized anasaka which means retention of fluid in the body. These are the symptoms of heart failure. If the heart function is less than 35%, you are prone to heart failure. You can be helped with medical therapy and device therapy to improve your heart function. However, there is one modality which can be uh, costing you the life. This is known as sudden cardiac arrest. In patients who have heart function less than 35%, the dead area of the muscle can actually generate faster heartbeats from that uh, it can electrically generate those faster heartbeats which can increase the heartbeat to 300 400 beats per minute and cause the fall in the blood pressure once this blood pressure falls occurs it can result into sudden cardiac arrest to save the patients from sudden cardiac arrest in case they reach the emergency of any hospital we defibrillate the patients we give them dc shock to get them out of this faster heartbeat However, in case they are not able to reach, the patient may die. To save these patients from sudden cardiac arrest, there is an implantable device which is implanted in the chest of the patient. It is known as ICD, implantable cardioverter defibrillator, which prevents the patients from sudden cardiac arrest. You should see a cardiac electrophysiologist to have the right guidance and choose the right patients for prevention of sudden cardiac arrest. Thank you.